Washington is handing out your money like water. Today, the automakers were promised $14 billion to start. But what about the hundreds of billions the government's spending? Where exactly is it? Turns out, it's impossible to find out. Give me a break. Where is the money? What'd you do with the billions? I went to look for it. What'd you do with our tax money? Answers to questions like that were not required when the Treasury started handing out the first $700 billion of your tax dollars. And the purpose of those billions? To restore confidence in our financial system. Its stocks dropped 800 points today. It didn't exactly work. The Dow has dropped 2,000 points since Congress approved those confidence-restoring funds. The Dow Jones fell today for a third straight day. So where did your tax money go? Well, billions so far have gone to about 160 banks. The Treasury Secretary said taxpayers will be told what's happening. We need oversight. We need transparency. I want it. We all want it. But what did we get? A month after the money was doled out, the chair of the Congressional Oversight Panel told reporters she didn't know where the money was. I only got this job 14 days ago. We, we don't have a fax machine. We don't have a, you know, a phone yet. You've got phones now? We have phones now. We have phones and we're, we're up to a staff of uh, five. Her job is to see that the bailout is put to good use. But so far, there's no mechanism for tracking how the banks spend your money. If taxpayer dollars are going to be stuffed into these banks, then there are responsibilities that go with that. Taxpayers are stuffing money into these banks and there's no tracking mechanism? There's no apparent tracking mechanism for it. This is the taxpayers' money, and we need some answers. Some in Congress are mad about how the bailout's working. Or not working. It has been a dismal failure. We are going down a rat hole, sir. I don't think you all know what you're doing now. Many politicians want more to go to homeowners to protect them from foreclosure. As recently as last week. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Secretary. It is nobody's view that we have been as successful as we need to be for the sake of the economy Absolutely in reducing not. foreclosures. Barney Mr. Frank Mr. chairs the committee uh, that approved the bailout. I think it is worth, because we've been dissatisfied with the way in which they've spent the first half of this, we have blocked them from spending the second half. But that's not the half of it. While the media focus on those billions, the Fed, the Federal Reserve Bank, is quietly committing trillions of your tax dollars. In return, the Fed got collateral from the banks. Collateral is generally stocks and bonds or even those dubious mortgage securities. But something of value, so if the loan isn't repaid, the government still gets something valuable in return. And so what collateral did the Fed get for its trillions in loans? They won't say. We have been asked to engage in oversight for the $700 billion that Treasury uh, is or may be authorized to spend. But the Federal Reserve Bank is out there now committing trillions of dollars. And we don't even know exactly where it's going. No, we, we don't even know in the case of the Fed to which institutions it's going, much less to what use it's being put. Are you not worried about that? I'm somewhat concerned about it, yes. In, in most of these cases, they are getting uh, what we believe to be appropriate collateral. If it's appropriate collateral, then wouldn't private investors be rushing to buy that? Why would the Fed have to stop? These questions are just baffling. Uh, do you think somebody made up this whole crisis? Uh, no, there were no private investors that were willing to do what the Fed did because they were worried. So where has the Fed put trillions of your tax dollars? Where's my money? What banks got the money? Did you get any good collateral? What was the collateral? The Fed won't say. Hello in there? When Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke talks about bank regulation, he says... Transparency is a big issue. But when it comes to the loans he makes, they can't make that information public because... Others might begin to worry, is this bank credit worthy? And that might create a stigma, a problem, and might cause banks to be unwilling to borrow. We don't know what banks are going to the Fed. We don't know what collateral they're offering. And the politicians and the bureaucrats are telling us it's for our own good, because if we actually know the truth, we won't be able to handle it or we'll have a run on the bank. Basically, a handful of politicians have unlimited discretion over trillions of dollars. And this is what you find with 
corrupt third world governments, and yet we're going down that same path of the rule of law being set aside and political discretion being the way that resources are allocated. It's so strange. Just recently, Congress was all upset about projects that cost millions of dollars. I've worked to uh, kill funding for the bridges to nowhere. This $400 million disaster should have been shut down a long time ago. This is fiscal responsibility. But now the government's loaning billions to the automakers. The American people want the auto companies to succeed, and so do I. And with even less debate, they gave hundreds of billions to banks. And the Fed is committing trillions. It's like Washington is saying here, take this, take that, anything we can do. Just so you won't blame us if we go into more of an economic slump. Trouble is, eventually, all this money has to be paid back. That will be debts, not just for us, not just for our children, but the legacy we leave our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. That's what's at stake. And I'm sad to say the answer to the question, where is the money, is we don't know. They say it's a secret. It's a multi-trillion dollar secret. Give me a break. And that's our program for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. And I'm John Stossel. For all of us at 2020 and ABC News, we're in touch, so you be in touch. All the time, online at abcnews.com. Good night.